and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Tarkaz's fortune. Next meme tier Monday deck. That's right, it's meme tier Monday. We're gonna be playing some off the wall stuff. Now we have Tarkaz. Tarkaz the Tribalist, five mana, five eight. That is a ridiculous body. That's a great you know, great size for especially with like everything around five mana being based around five fives. You just have a 5-8. That's crazy. And so whenever it attacks, it does 1 to all battling units. So it does 1 damage to itself immediately whenever it's attacking. And then if there's anything else that gets into combat, it does 1 damage to those as well. We're combining this Tarkaz the Tribalist with Misfortune, where whenever we attack, we do 1 damage to all battling enemies. So this does, does, this does it to all of the, our allies and the enemies. And then the Misfortune will do damage to the enemies as well. So, you know, if we have Misfortune and Tarkaz in play whenever we're attacking, we're doing two damage to uh, their battling units. Um, so pretty awesome. So that that's what our deck's really built around. It's just kind of those two cards. And then just a bunch of other good mid rangey things. A bunch of good... Um, we got some good spells. We got some other good units. Got some card advantage with Averroes and Sentry, Averroes and Sentry Babbling Bjerg. Bjerg will draw us to start with either Hearthguard or Tarkaz. So it's a way for us to find Tarkaz. Um, and then after Hearth, after we play a Hearth Guard and give it stuff plus one, plus one, then it can grab a Citrus Courier also. Citrus Courier, we can attack again. So we can attack again with like an, you know, another Tarkaz, another Misfortune Trigger, and everything like that. Braum is a great challenger to have with these um, attack abilities, especially with Misfortune. So it fits really well there. And that's what our deck's all about. All right, so let's go with Tarkaz's Fortune. We're going to go over to normal for meme tier Monday. We're going to play five games. I'm not sure exactly what, what we're doing with Misfortune, Gangplank, and Twisted Fate with uh, PNZ. We'll kind of see. Um, I'll, I mean... These cards are all good, but I don't know if I want to keep, you know, all three mana cards. So, we'll get rid of one Trapper. But we'll take a Sentry. Here, not bad. Get the two and the four to go along with our threes. They're out there. I'll spot them. I'm excited to, to, Choo Choo. Let's be a fun one. No, don't warning shot. He started without me. Rude. The dead don't need riches. Ready the torches. So my main question is if I want to lead with misfortune or trapper. We're gonna lead with trapper to get the enraged yeti closer. I'm probably just going to be going Misfortune and make it rain this next turn. Ooh. Interesting. Look, behind you, a three-headed monkey. So I hope this make it rain kills this powder keg. If they have, you know, like Mystic Shot to kill Misfortune. Didn't know the box had said for me. Don't know much, do you? So each one is a 20% chance, right? Well, I guess it's. We get a 20% chance, then a 25% chance, and then a 33% chance. And we need one of those to hit. Yes! That works out. Make it interesting for me. All right, we'll take it. I'm not 
not greedy. My friends, though. My friends, though. Ow. These darned pirates. Will no one listen? Poor man's gone mad. All right, so let's go Tarkaz. Because that's what our deck's about. We fight for one frail yard. Yuck. Hot on the trail. You gotta believe me. Time to smash. Time to smash. These two things can't block anything. They just die immediately. Can you consider a henching career? Um, Yordle Grifter should definitely, you should definitely block the 3-3, three, three, not the 3-2, right? Should they just switch? Okay, well it doesn't matter then. And I would think that they, like, they should probably have the Hearth Guard block that this Tark, my Tark has, and kill my Tark has, not kill my Enraged Yeti. Oh wait, it doesn't, it's not gonna kill Tark has. Alright, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I don't know why I was thinking that was gonna trade. It's a five eight. So big. Safety will cost you. The war mother will unite us all. Nothing escapes my watch. Before they can Riptide Rex, I want to attack. Now I'm actually, I know Misfortune's only one away from leveling up, but I still am going to attack here, because then, um, wait, this puts them to three? Oh, right, because my two one's dying. Whoops. I was like, let's go put them to one. But now that, right, the two one dies. Oh wait, the Misfortune just dies anyway. Okay. All right. I need to get used to t playing with Tarkaz. <laughs> yeah, that was. At least they played a, a brittle steel for no reason. Okay. Well. Mistake by me. Like, Misfortune would have died here with Riptide Rex anyway. But I should not attack with Misfortune or the Avarice. It's going to save me a little bit of life. Could save me a little bit of life. Patience. Will no one listen? Poor man's gone mad. It can't be. And I forgot that this thing was a 4-4. Four, four. I no should have played the 4-4, four, four, not the 3-3. Three, three. Okay. Yeah, learning experience right there. my cards. Hmm. 
where they go straight to attacks or to play one of these two things first. Guess we're going to attacks. Yep, yeah, and yeah, that's... Cordic has, yeah, donation decks are just a $10 donation or 10,000 channel points, and just whenever you donate, you can just put your code or um, whatever you want the deck to look like in your in the description. And, um, you know, if you have any, any time you want the deck being played, let me know, like, whatever day, whatever time slot that you want. I can make that happen. So hopefully not another Riptide Rex. I play Omen Hawk. In case of another Rex, we take four damage. Citrus Courier. So, why did they play Citrus Courier last turn? I mean, I guess they, they want this attack token trigger, this attack trigger here. Two damage to all enemies. Doesn't matter who, who blocks there. Looks like we're losing this. Nav card's just too good. Nav my hearth guard, nav my citrus courier. Gonna do two damage to me. You know, I can frostbite the gangplank and block here, but. Nav cards and Riptide Rex. Now we plan our revenge. They're quite strong. Obviously, I made a bad attack with the Tarkaz. It would have. It would have. If I don't make that attack, I would have saved two life. And, you know, I died at exact lethal, but I don't know if I. Could have gotten the rest of the damage in. Yeah, I play I play donation decks any day, like every day of the week. So yeah, when, whenever. There's no no certain days. Play them every day. Uh, Fiora Shen. I want to keep my second misfortune. I kind of do. If you're killing Misfortune, it's kind of a bummer. I, Yeah, let's keep them both. Because the champion spell with Misfortune um, is... You know, the Make It Rain. And the Make It Rain's really good against Barrier. And, you know, with our Shen deck, of course, that we're playing against. Should be seeing some Barriers here. And yeah, on <laughs> defense, those barriers aren't going to be doing much on defense, that's for sure. Speak with blades. No prey, no pay. I will cut you. Try me. All right, that's one. Still see far and clear. Two worlds, one balance. Immediately. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, Kordak, I think I'm, I'm just going to wait till the the release of the new set in like 10 days and then and go from there with the 5 win decks. I never hold back. Oh god. Vine and whisk. Steady my hand. Look out for reavers. Awesome. Still have a Fury of the North. Balance favors. That is not a good decision, is it? I mean, I guess they just gain life. Nature blesses her followers. Just gain five life. But I'm obviously just fine with that outcome. Just fine with that outcome. These woods protect their own. Keeper, our lands need us. Averosans, stand together! Set sail. Shen's at two out of four. For these lands. So you can still give the Shen the barrier. That's what the, I think that's what they're thinking here is that they give Shen barrier. It is not yet there. So it doesn't die. But of course I have the make it rain. Blow up the barrier. This will also kill the Greenblade Caretaker, the Make It Rain, plus the Love Tap. So we won't be taking three. So Hearth Guard won't take three damage. And that gets rid of Shen when Shen is at three out of five. Or three out of four with the level up. GG's. Okay, one and one. I don't know why I still had zero, zero. We are one and one now. That worked perfectly for us. Basically everything uh, went our way in that game. We had a Perfect to make it rain there with the, that first one. All right, Misfortune plus Sejuani, the more popular version of this kind of deck with Sejuani. But we're going to try Braum, and we're going to keep Braum here in this opening hand, like this opener. We get some of our unique cards in with Braum and Tarkaz. We can try these out. just attacked I mean after they use the warning shot to do that like I just don't have to block you know if they just if they just attack first then I'm then I'm under the do I just block and throw away my omen hawk um you know then it's a lot more difficult with them just casting the warning shot first then it's super easy you just all right I'll take the two damage Plunder was already enabled. Safety will cost you. How can Brom help? All right, so we're going to lead with Tarkaz.
These nav cards. Getting on my nerves. <laughs> Tarkas is clearly better than Sejuani. Two more, two more health, one less mana. Clearly better. I agree. So Braum can challenge Black Market Merchant. And then we do the one damage to everything. So we do one damage to Black Market Merchant and kill it. And of course we do the one damage to Braum. Make the Mighty Poro. Do they need our help? <laughs> so many tiny. Hmm. First we fight, show me your best. There no one else? It is easy, see? I do kind of need this Omen Hawk to die. So I have more room. Maybe I should have blocked the T2 earlier with Omen Hawk. I know, isn't that mean? Like these nav cards, they just take my Tarkaz. Last game they were taking awesome. Like that other game we lost, it to. We're taking no awesome stuff as well. No then they just took my misfortune. Well, they took Hearthguard and Citrus Courier. Alright, I think I try for... Um, I think I try for Make It Rain. That's yeah, a little a stretch. I have to like hit make it rain and then I have to have Tarkaz plus the make it rain trigger hit you know hit the Tarkaz that doesn't kill no because mine's just gonna die any anyway it'll still just die to these two these stories were true now we have fun The Nightfall cards don't look very good, admittedly. Taking six of my cards. Stop. Why would this block misfortune? Who's that you got there? Oh, they want to do damage to misfortune? You poor thing. Just passing turn. Sure. Kill some stuff. So we're bringing out the big guns, huh? All right. Okay, a bunch of one health. at six. The 
your mother will unite us all. Yep, that's what I kind of decided to do is Avarosen plus Trapper. We'll have we'll play the Hearth card first. Braum is now at seven. Joke debate. And no attacks. That take heart looks pretty good. good luck. Nope. Have you met my yeah, this take heart looks pretty good. Alright, put them down to zero. Zero's good. Harsh winds. They stole my harsh winds. Uh, stop stealing all my cards. All right. So, so take out this thing to kill him. Put them back down to zero. I'm gonna brutal steal this misfortune too while we're at it. While we're doing stuff. Is gonna kill my misfortune. All right, they're going back to zero. GGS. Yeah, they they had some bad hits with their major range, and their their riptide rex wasn't so good either. But they deserve it for nabbing all my cards. Pirates don't deserve the good luck. See, we're playing straight up. We don't nab our opponent's stuff. That's mean. So there we go. Tarkaz clearly better than Sejuani. <laughs> we played Tarkaz and we won. So there we go. My opponent played Tarkaz. They lost. Maybe it's worse. Well, this is exciting. This 3-4-5. Problem, of course, is we don't have anything one or two, and this is an aggressive deck. Fury of the North is a good spell, but I just I just want to look for something that costs one or two. But I don't really want to mulligan this three, four, or five. Here we go. Um, and Hawk. No one's the wiser. In position. Behind you. I haven't really seen this deck since the slight since the Noxus nerfs too much. I I think it's still probably a pretty decent deck. Like I don't think it's it's a bad deck. So it's not one that I've really played much, but no maybe pay. I should be playing it more. No pay. My turn. My kind of party. Look what you <sighs> Those two sound like don't they sound the exact same? Or is it just always was that always just misfortune talking? I thought that was sometimes Crimson Disciple, sometimes misfortune. Maybe it was just always misfortune. Rome is on the job. You played after nerf and still pretty strong? Yeah, I wonder. Was it was that always misfortune? Like the my turn and stuff like that sounded like Crimson Disciple. Ugh. This elixir of wrath card has been killing me today. Getting past my elixir of iron. Explosives primed. So close.
<laughs> you small, me big. Uh, let's see. Don't get ahead of yourself. I meant to block here. <sighs> Do I want to try this? Next turn we have uh, six mana. Probably not worth it for playing that just to kill the, the saboteur, especially with the decent chance that it just misses. Double Tarkaz. Looking for trouble. This is a 4-4. I'm really glad we didn't do that. I didn't know that was a 4-4. Glad we didn't cast the Mega Rain. Remember the objective. The objective is to make it rain. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Tay, yeah, you can send donation decks anytime. Absolutely. So they take five, go down to ten. Citrus Courier would have liked to have you the previous turn. It's fair. Or it's not fair at all. Can I stay alive? Six, eight. Looks like I'm taking eight damage. Just by what's going on here. My kind of party. Just you, huh? I know what I'm doing. So we'll be down to four. Alright, that's honestly not bad for me. I'm, I'm glad they did it that way instead of the other way, instead of like blocking the Tarkaz and stunning the Misfortune.
smiles. There we go, Tarkaz. Just being huge. Too big. That was we won that because of Omen Hawk. That turn one Omen Hawk draw that we had. Without that, we were dead. Alright, Tay with the donation deck. Uh, do you have any request on my Tay for when, uh, what day you want me to play it? What time slot? Anything like that? Timo Zed. We'll get rid of the Fury of the North and have this good curve. Which maybe we should be keeping the Fury. Tomorrow? Alright. Yeah, we, we really won't. You're too elusive. Closing in on the mark. Escape my watch. Alright, we'll play Trapper before combat. Gotcha. Capture that Yeti. Pledge yourself to the shadows. Should have kept Fury of the North. So playing the Braum here makes attacking with Zed much less. I have many okay, never mind. Let's see. Never mind. Still makes attacking with Zed look good, I guess. There is the Fury of the North. So we play. Ooh. Alright, higher gun that. And sentry and enraged yeti. Also go Fury on the Braum and challenge the elusive, but no, we're gonna just play some more. Looking for a daring escape. See the Debastian border from here. So we're gonna make them if they want to block, they're gonna have to block with their elusives. Because we're going to challenge the 2-3 here, the 3-2 there. So the elusives have to block these if they want to block. If not, they can go to 2. Okay, they're going to 2. And Harsh Winds should be a really big card. Oh, so it's Mega Rain. I can't do both. What did Brom say? I find it best with something. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. This is only ten damage. Mm -hmm. 
Strong cheese. Okay. Talk about the mushrooms. I find it best with strong cheese. Okay, so I'm gonna go down to seven after this attack, is that right? They have eight here, yes, I'll go down to seven. They will level up both Teemos. We will play Avros and Hearthguard and go to combat. Them at one. The War Mother will unite us all. We are assuming. That we'll be able to finish them out. Hopefully no puff caps. Wow, we are lucky. Full challenge. Uh, no. No, just do one. This is fun, yes? Yes. This is fun, yes. <laughs> Don't want any trouble. Handle scouts are never afraid. GG's. My collection. Worth it. We are four and one. Victory is friends we make. Yeah, it's true, Jump Jump Rapa could be. Yeah, Kiku Wayfinder put in both the Teemos for them. Kiku Kiku Wayfinder did that. Tark has big, opponent small. <laughs> All right, so yeah, our Tark has deck worked pretty well. You know, we just played good, efficient things across the board, made combat difficult for them, especially blocking. Made blocking super difficult with uh, Misfortune and Tark has the Tribalus. Yeah, this card is huge, 5-8. It was even bigger than the Noxus stuff. You know, like how that Noxus deck is built on being the largest deck around. So it was even bigger. And then, you know, we had our Hearth Guard. Yeah, we, we didn't run out of cards because, you know, we had Babbling Bjerg and Sentry helping us out with some card advantage, too. Pretty nice little deck here. So, yeah, the best Tarkaz deck I, I have seen before. Definitely the best deck I've played with Tarkaz. <laughs> Looks like he's just, like, playing the drums over here and everybody's just just mesmerized by his drum playing ability um you know they're just all excited and dancing and going crazy about this about how well he's playing these drums All right, that's Tarkaz's Fortune. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.